thieves caught on camera ransacking a sneaker and streetwear store in San Pedro. The store's owner says he struggled to make it through COVID lockdowns and a challenging economy, but he's not sure whether his business will survive this. Eyewitness News reporter Michelle Fisher joining us live now with the new video and the story of that heartbroken business person. Michelle. Yeah, it's been a rough few years for this business owner. He actually told me that he had plans to reopen the doors for in person shopping tomorrow, December the 1st. But tonight, instead, the doors to this business here boarded shut, and the future of his business is in question. It's the footage no business owner wants to see. Security cameras capturing the moments thieves broke into Street Soul, a high end sneaker and streetwear store in San Pedro around 6 30 this morning. From like off white Virgils to like high end Jordans and um, everything was emptied out, like all gone. It hurt a lot, you know, it's 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 devastating to me. <laughs> you know, we have three kids in the footage. You see a group of men making their way around the store, going in and out for more than 20 minutes, taking more than $100,000 worth of merchandise before eventually taking off in a white BMW. The break in coming in the middle of the holidays, just days after Black Friday. I have to tell like probably 60 to 70 percent of those customers I don't know, like we don't have your shoe. The store's now shattered glass, shattering years of hard work for owner Jean Grissard. Sneakers is my dream, you know, streetwear is my dream. Grissard wiping away tears while processing what happened to the business he first opened back in 2017. He says it's happened before. In 2019, thieves broke in for a first time, prompting the mirrored windows out front to deter robbers. And then the pandemic, which prompted an e-commerce only business with in-store pickup. We've been pushing that side of it and now we just we don't know. We don't know what we're going to do. You know, we have to look at everything and see how we could recover. Now the future of the business is in question as others along the street process the break in as well. It's uncomfortable. It's an uncomfortable feeling for yeah. sure to have nice things for people to come in, damage it like that. It's kind of disrespectful and lame. Street Soul is not only a business here in this community, but also an integral part of it. Uh, in the past, the owner has held Easter egg hunts for kids during the Easter season, and also the store has contributed to two scholarships for two students who are now at UCLA. The business owner says the best way that people can support as he tries to rebuild is by visiting the website streetsoul.com and also the mobile app they have as well. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.